Since I was not paid in accordance to the law, labor law, now who owns the copyright because there is a question mark there by YouTube. Okay? And then all the videos I uploaded in YouTube wherein it's all about evangelism, sharing the word of God, using the internet. My God, these people even what? Denied me. That I'm supposed to be paid now. Who owns those videos? Okay? This is from the Book of Wisdom that was written by Solomon. Ecclesiastes. This is about something that is really important about uh, what a man is doing. Okay. From chapter 2, verses 17 to 23. So I hated life because the work that is done under the sun was grievous to me. All of it is meaningless, chasing after the wind. I hated all the things I have toiled for under the sun because I must leave them to the one who comes after me. And who knows whether he will be a wise man or a fool. Yet he will have control over the work into which I have poured my effort and skill under the sun. This is too is meaningless. So my heart began to despair over all my toilsome labor under the sun. For a man may do his work with, with wisdom, knowledge, and skill, and then he must leave all he owns to someone who has not worked for it. This too is a great misfortune. What does a man get for all the toil and anxious striving with which he labors under the sun? All his days his work is pain and grief. Even at night his mind does not rest. This too is meaningless. So I have I got no more energy. I, I don't have no longer have the energy for meaningless friendships and some meaningless argument and conversation. I am not getting younger. I am 62 years old. Like what Rocky said, if, I, if we are going to live another 10 years because Rocky friends and me we are both born 1957. When I uh, went to him and visited him last September uh, 2018, uh, I told him about what we lost. Well, you know, I know he's not happy. Anyway, so he said, you know, Chip, because we call each other cheap. Uh, you know, uh, once you call each other like that, it means you, it's like equal. Cheap to cheap. It's like a king to a king talking. Because when I was with him doing the aquaculture, doing my feasibility study, I am also building my company. Wow. I am a founder also of yeah. a company. All right? By the time that I decided to do that feasibility study in aquaculture, man, that is the start of my putting the foundation of my company. Okay? 
So now I am here collaborating with somebody, with a founder and a president also. And I will be also a founder and will be a president of my own company. Remember that. So I hope everybody is clear. Uh, these are some of the moringa these are the moringa plants or the moringa tree that rocky friends is using in combining it with the uh, fish feeds that they are now also the one that are they are now manufacturing their own pellets and you see you see at the background those are some of the feeds that is ready for the tilapia uh, they combine it with the moringa and here it is uh, this is the innovation that we have done during these are the moringa leaves that's being used now by rocket friends in having a good quality product and this is the fruit of our labor in our innovation and research that we have done a long time ago and uh, this will only justify because those employee employees of four square church did not respect all my videos and my properties and all my journals that only evidence that I have done my research in aquaculture and now this will now be the truth will set us all free because they think I am lying that I know Rocky friends that I collaborated with the man that's now considered a visionary in the 21st century however these are the fingerlings in the 30 footer here in uh, aqua farming tech okay a uh, combination of the uh, uh, normal tilapia and uh, you can see some reds so the 30 footer uh, where they grow the from fry to fingerlings so there you are and uh, those are the tilapia the normal ones and uh, and you can see the moringa tree it's over here with uh, uh, these are the third footer for the grow out for uh, as you can see here you see all these tilapia are coming now because they're thinking I'm going to feed them that is really beautiful because when you start even the tilapia you see that they're not even afraid because they think it's time for feeding. There you are. You see that? That's really beautiful. They're coming here. They're like trained already. So when they see a human being, they think they're ready for feeding. That even the fish can be trained. You see that? This is a documentation that really, you see, they're coming all over. There you are. They're jumping. Feed me, feed me. Beautiful. So Don Jose, yeah, ready to go. Okay, here's Don Jose. We're going to go around uh, Aqua Farming Tech and we are ready to go back to LA after informing Rocky that I lost uh, the videos that we have. And here on this side. So this is the place where I stayed before when I'm doing my intensive tilapia farming and those are just pass by the solar panel that is now we have here the solar panel and this is all the grow out tank uh, 
okay and these are the solar, pa solar panel so now aqua farming tech is self-sustaining in electricity and at the same time also in feeds and uh, you go there straight straight no, straight yeah. yeah so the solar so the solar panel that is now over here I think uh, this is more than almost uh, 10 acres okay of solar panel man this is a lot of solar panels that is now because this is the one that they're using right now running all those big body wheels see there you are then you go there you see so now it is self-sustaining even in energy under the tree we have the shade okay so I have to let's go to Rocky and uh, ask for the donation that he promised to our ministry don't say right <laughs> the another chance ministry another chance. Yeah, of course another okay chance. okay food and energy the most important commodities in the future we should do some actions in research and development and innovation for the future of our children's children from 2001 to 2007, I did my independent research and development and innovation in aquaculture from 2003 to 2007. I transferred to Aqua Farming Tech Incorporated to test my bootstock red and golden orange tilapia with the approval of Rocky Prince to test it in this farm. He is also the founder and CEO. When I was in Aqua Farming Tech, I collaborated with Rocky Friends in research and development and innovation in intensive culture system in aquaculture. Most of it are out of the box ideas and the experimentation we have done was recorded in videos and in my personal journals. Rocky Friends and me, Efren Tejuman, had done some innovations never been tried in aquaculture. Rocky and me is the same age we are born in 1957. We are the baby boomer. Aqua Farming Tech is the definitive leader in the industry. State of the art aquaculture operations are conducted from the two farms encompassing 120 acres. Always an industry innovator. Aqua Farming Tech is the first farm with more than 60 tanks. One of the first farms to build above the ground cement tanks and the first farm to utilize a mechanical aerator to improve the oxygenation of the water, the first farm to develop and implement method of recycling water, and the first farm to generate significant percentage of its power from solar, and the first farm to self-manufacture its own feed, and the only farm endorsed and accredited by the state of California to do and accept training and education of people about intensive culture system in aqua culture. In a world with increasingly limited land for growing food, we invest in agricultural enterprises that produce the highest possible yield per acre. We also leverage that strength by using the most efficient energy resources on the planet. It's no secret that some of the smartest investors in the world are betting on the development of highly efficient methods of growing food in smaller spaces. People like George Soros, Warren Buffett, and Bill Gates have seen the numbers and added farmland to their portfolios. Here's what they know. The world's population is projected to be 40% higher by 2050 than it is today. That's not far down the road, and yet our farmland is shrinking every year, an estimated worldwide equivalent of 40% of California's agricultural land is lost every 18 months, which will result in a dramatic increase in the cost of food. But there's hope and opportunity. There are methods of farming that can address these frightening numbers and help feed a hungry planet while generating profits for forward-thinking investors. In short, a chance to do well by doing good. In this respect, New Global Energy Business Unit, Aqua Farming Tech, has been at the forefront of developing and implementing the most advanced sustainable methods of producing premium seafood since 1993. Its operations are located just east of Palm Springs in the heart of the Coachella Valley in California. When Aqua Farming Tech started, 
global aquaculture accounted for less than 10% of seafood consumption. Now it's about 40%. The United States imports about 86% of its seafood, only half of which is wild caught. In fact, what looks like a brilliant idea now had its critics 20 years ago, as our aqua farming manager, industry legend, Rocky French explains. When we started, uh, everybody was uh, thinking that we were crazy because uh, we were trying to build fish farm in the desert. It turned out this is the very best place to start fish farming. But as ideal as the Coachella Valley is for growing tilapia, this type of farming also has its pitfalls. In California and elsewhere, other fish farms have shut down as a result of three persistent issues. We're fortunate that Rocky and the rest of our technical team have met these challenges. High density type of fish farming, you're faced with like three major problems. Uh, electricity, feed, and water. In our case, uh, we're able to mitigate our problem by putting a solar array. We save about, uh, actually we save about 80 to 90% of our electric bill already. The second uh, issue was water use. And of course, in the farm, we're doing recirculation, we pump the water, it goes into our reservoir, gets uh, cleaned up by the water vegetation. Well, one of the major costs of uh, fish production is feed. We figure that if we could build our own uh, feed mill, design our own feed, and have better control on what type of ingredients that we could put in the feed, this would be a major uh, contribution to the production of uh, good quality, uh, sustainable type of fish. In addition to producing our own feed, Aqua Farming Tech has developed a proprietary fish feeding methodology that is projected to save up to 70% of the overall feed cost. The program involves feeding our fish green algae for the first four months in the grow out ponds. In their natural environment, tilapia, which are vegetarian, feed on nutrient-rich algae and other aquatic plants. This sustainable technique dramatically lowers the feed cost and the oxygen-producing action of the algae reduces electricity costs by diminishing the need to run mechanical paddle wheels to aerate the water during the day when the electricity rates are at their highest. By successfully solving critical cost issues that confront fish farming in this area, we lead the industry in tilapia farming and we are in a position to acquire or lease other California fish farms as they have closed. Because aqua farming tech has perfected high density aqua farming, our yields are much higher per acre than traditional fish farming. Most farms yield about 1,200 to 1,500 fish per acre, while we average 30 to 35,000 fish per acre.
Another Chance Ministry Jesus the Way, the Truth, the Life, John 14.6 Founded October 17, 2017 Founded by Ephraim Maulino Tejuman My homeless experience was the driving force for my first ministry. From Ephraim from Ephraim to Ephraim, my new Christian name. The Hebrew meaning is twice fruitful, the second son of Joseph, the dreamer, from his Egyptian wife Asinat. God has made me fruitful. In the land of my suffering. Right, Smiley? Jesus, the way, God's plan of redemption. In Genesis 3, the seed of the woman. The seed became a title of the Messiah. Virgin birth, the call of Abraham through the dynasty of David whom the seed of the woman would come in the virgin birth in Bethlehem, which was predicted by Isaiah and fulfilled by Christ. Our redemption ended into another tree in another garden. When Jesus went to the cross, redeem you and me to pay the price for the first Adam failure in Jesus. Also called the last Adam, God himself became man and fulfilled the requirements that we as a member of the fallen race could not. Adam fell and there's nothing we can do in repairing it. The good news or the gospel is that Jesus, the perfect lamb, had paid the price and Jesus has a destiny for you to be with the Father in heaven and have eternal life. There's nothing we can do to earn it. We simply have to receive it as a free gift from God. Jesus did it all alone. This is the truth. Satan's ambition. In Isaiah, starting in verse 13, the famous I wills. I will ascend to heaven I raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit enthroned on the mount of assembly on the utmost heights of the sacred mountain. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds and I will make myself like the most high, equal to God. Okay, the origin of Satan and Satan's end. In Ezekiel 28, He is an anointed cherub that governs, which means a super angel in charge of everything. Yet Satan rebelled. When God created Satan, Nashas, the shining one, Nashas in Hebrew means the shining one. Ezekiel, in Ezekiel, starting in verse 12. You are the model of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Okay, when God created man at his own image, God made man to be in dominion here on earth. And God even commanded Satan to bow to man, but Satan refused. God created man in the garden of Eden. Satan is now so jealous to man, for God loved us so much, and Satan started to deceive us by lying. Satan will even test our faith like Job. Okay? He endured the long suffering and had shown his faith to God, and he was blessed twice. Okay, now let's continue. You were anointed as a guardian cherub, 
For so I ordain you. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created, till wickedness was found on you. You were filled with violence, and you sinned. So I drove you in disgrace from the mount of God, and I expelled you, O guardian cherub, from among the fiery stones. Your heart became proud on account of your beauty, and you corrupted your wisdom because of your splendor. So I throw you to the earth, and I made you a spectacle of you before kings. By your many sins and dishonest trade, you have desecrated your sanctuaries. So I made a fire come out from you, and it consumed you, and reduced you to ashes on the ground in the sight of all who were watching. All the nations who knew you, who knew you, are all appalled at you. You have come to a horrible end, and will be no more. In Revelation 12, contains the summary of his attempt, Satan's attempt to thwart God's of our redemption. Okay, so Jesus is the way and the truth. So Jesus is the only way and the truth that what Satan is doing to us, and then the life, the gospel, the good news, in remembrance of me. Okay. So what Jesus, the perfect Lamb, that sacrificed through His blood, suffered, crucified, died on the cross, got resurrected, risen, and victorious. So that is what it means of in remembrance of me. Remember this. That Jesus had suffered for us. All right. So now, in remembrance of me, by remembering what the perfect Lamb had done to us, there is also a reward for us. Okay. After we are redeemed from our sin, because we are simple, right? Even Jesus promised that we will be with God the Father and have eternal life in heaven, and with Jesus and God the Father. Okay, the word gospel is not a code of ethics or morals. It's not a creed to be accepted. It's not a system of religion to be adhered to. It is not good advice to follow. So what is the gospel? It is a message concerning a divine being that is out of this world. Out of this world, but out of this world. Heavenly. So in John, in the gospel of John, in chapter 14, from verse 1 to 3, Okay, let not your heart be troubled, a very powerful opening statement. Let not your heart be troubled. Yeah, believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Okay, and I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. So Jesus told his disciples when he was, okay, while the crowd watched, a cloud took Jesus from the Mount of Olives out of their sight, and two angels confirmed that he would return in like manner. However, Jesus told the disciples to await the empowering of the Holy Spirit before, okay, the cloud took Jesus 
from the Mount of Olives out of their sight, and then the two angels confirmed that he would come at the same manner, while preparing a place for us in his father's house. And he will be the one also that's going to receive us. He himself will return us what the two angels confirm. God doesn't lie. If you believe the Bible is the word of God, so that is the truth. No matter what these people or these preachers or minister or pastor promising something from you to be with God the Father, no way you say. Okay? The only way is not to say or Pedro or Mary, but only through the perfect Son of God. All right? Perfect that He is the only way that you have to open your heart and let the Holy Spirit, okay, prepare you to receive Jesus. But before you can receive Jesus, you have to manifest the gift of the Holy Spirit. You must have that kind of character. Okay? Because what Jesus said, before he was taken by the clouds in the Mount of Olives, that uh, this is the uh, corporate code of conduct of the Four Square Church. Statement of Integrity, Lifestyle, and Ethical Conduct. This code of conduct describes standards to guide us in our daily four square church activities. We believe that these standards are all already being followed. Our goal is to commit them to writing and to ensure that they are understood and followed by the employees of the four square church. The four square church is committed to the highest ethical and professional standards of conduct as an integral part of its mission. The advancement of the Polish Square Church relies on its employees' honesty, integrity, ethical behavior, and good judgment. Each staff member should demonstrate respect for the rights of others, and each staff member is accountable for his or her actions. Honesty, integrity, ethical behavior, and good judgments are not merely on the job requirements. Four Square employees are selected based on their commitment to Christ in addition to their particular job skills. In addition to their particular job skills. Okay now, I, Efren Maulino Tejuman, was not only the property custodian but also the videographer of the church, Sunday services, birthday parties, wedding to funerals. The most important one is the worldwide evangelism and of the Bible Institute, the Lambs. Uh, because I am also recording all the lectures for the online students that cannot come during that day. Okay, now. And what is the big dog repair job description? As a big dog repair is a part director, part sound man, and part editor. A job as a big dog repair falls under the broader career category of multimedia artists and animators and documentaries. Okay, now videos are very powerful in presenting any evidences. If a picture can give a thousand of information, videos will give you thousandfold of information. And the internet and the internet made made the social media so powerful. That's the reason also new laws have, have to be made and some laws are to be upgraded, especially about videos about copyright, especially those videos that have some purpose, like for educational purposes. Okay, these are not ordinary videos for educational purposes. That is for the, what? For the benefit of the public. So, big jobs can make a person famous overnight or can bring down any leader or corporation. Remember that. Let us uh, continue the uh, corporate code of conduct of the Polish Square Church. A commitment to Christ entails a willingness to be an ambassador for Christ, 
that is in Ephesians 6 to 20, and living a life worthy of the Lord, of the job as well as during business hours. Four square employees must at all times live lives of purity and truth in accordance with God's word. Each staff member is responsible for living in a manner that is in keeping with the scriptural standards of conduct, accept, acceptable in God's sight. This is not just a matter of representing the Paul Square Church well, it is a matter of representing the Lord. Alright? It is also clear stated here. This is not just a matter of representing the Paul Square Church well, it is a matter of representing the Lord. Right? All funds and property received and administered by the church-wide organization are entrusted to the Paul Square Church by God through the faithful financial support of Four Square members and friends. And the highest degree of stewardship and fiduciary responsibility is expected of all staff members, including the receiving, reporting, and use of funds property, and time. Property and time. Okay, let us proceed again. Standard of conduct. Employees of the International Church of the Polish School Gospel have a twofold responsibility. First, to represent well our Polish School churches, Polish School ministers and Polish School members throughout the world. And number two, to be a model of biblical standards of ethical, moral, and professional conduct when carrying out the business of the International Church of the Polish School Gospel. A reputation for integrity, fairness, and openness is one of the most difficult assets to earn and one the easiest to lose. We do not intend to lose it. We wish to maintain the confidence of our pastors, members, employees, lending institutions, suppliers, and other constituencies. In our communication and in our conduct, we will be clear and without deal, avoiding exaggeration, overstatement, and boastfulness. In fulfilling such a high calling, the conduct of his employee is to exemplify excellence in Christian character, personal and professional activity, and faithful service to the kingdom of God. While it is hoped and believed that everyone in Port Square will always fulfill these obligations in a manner consistent with the laws. There may become a time when an employee believes that the law has not been followed. If an employee reports any such conduct to the appropriate authorities, Port Square will not take any adverse action or retaliate against this employee. So, it is clearly stated here, there may come a time when an employee believes that the law has not been followed. If an employee reports any such conduct to the appropriate authorities, Four Square will not take any adverse action or retaliate against this employee. It's clearly stated here, okay? And any employee who is concerned about the legality of any activity is encouraged to discuss the concern with any member of the management, up to and including the president right. of the Four Square. Okay, I hold it. Okay. This is called Another Chance. All right. You've been waiting for someone to bring you to me. And all your pain is still controlling it. Lost in a bucket full of broken promises. You stepped on all of your brands. 
burned all your bridges and sold all your stolen guns. You're at the end of your road. Birds watch you fall, even the angels pass you by. You can put your faith in Jesus again. Tangled up, and there's nothing to see but you won't be. You put out the fire, put out the light, waiting on someone to show you the way. See, in a shattered mirror, the pieces stretch out a smile, and all the while, the verdict of the trial. Green of a mustard tea. So put on your face, put on your armor, put on your faith in Jesus again. He will give you another chance. He will give you another chance. Amen. Don't get on the fire, break all the chains. Walk out the darkness, you got another chance. Break all the fire, break all the chains. Come on, darkness. Another chance, come out of the fire, break all the chains. You got another chance. Step out of the door, step in the light, step out of darkness. You got another chance. Put your faith in Jesus, and He will give you another chance. Amen, amen. All right. It is. It must be being a good soldier of Jesus Christ. It must. It must be appreciated that any unsaved person, no matter how good he or she may appear to be, cannot mimic any of the genuine spiritual fruits, as the fruits originates from all the three Godhead. And that is the God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity. And can only be evident to a new spiritually transformed man in Christ. And the, fruit, and the fruits of the Holy Spirit are what? Should be abundant, evident in that person 24 hours, okay? What are those? Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. Then why is it that long-suffering over there? I highlighted it with the yellow, and those are what? Red, because long-suffering, man, this is what we call in Christianity, this is like, if you can endure that, like Job, showing your faith. And for me, I, I don't have to mention it already. I, I, I don't have to, man. All right? And now, this is, this is Christianity 101, okay? Uh, for, for, for those who are... Uh, and who understand and uh, properly educated. You, you, you know, when, when you say Christianity 101, that is grade one. Okay? Back to basic. Because if you don't know the basic, how can you do something right? If you, if you, you cannot start from 101. You start from one. Like one. Okay, when one was there, just 
lying down and waiting from because there is a parable or let me make a sabihan sa mga Pilipino ba? Kita mo isyo Juan Tamad Juan Tamad is so lazy look at Juan Tamad he's there under the banana ano under the guava tree and look at him his mouth is open <laughs> while he's sleeping why? okay because he said he's waiting for the banana a banana, for that uh, guava fruit to drop. Because he knows, he said, that once the tree, the guava, the, the, the fruit cannot hold it already, it's already time. Hindi hinug sa pilit, tamang-tama, dahil ibinigay ng biyaya ay nanggaling na sa puno. Okay. He's right, right? You cannot contest that. That is really the best one. That kind of fruit, fresh, and then, freely given by the tree, the guava tree. You did not, uh, ipinilit mo, yung bang hilug sa pilit, yan ang tama, nature. Okay? To understand also how God created everything. Yung story, that story, if you're going to be logical and try to analyze this, one tamad story, that while waiting for that guava fruit to drop, that is the perfect. Masarap talaga, iba talaga, ah, tamang tama. But for it, for you to eat it immediately, that's the only time that you can say, masarap ang dasa. Press, press na press talaga. Abi, mismo yung puno ang nabi. It is the tree, the guava tree that gave that fruit to you immediately. That is the best fruit that you can have. However, there's another one, there's a cut. This is really interesting, okay? Again, they saw one under the tree again. A fruit tree. But he's waiting again for another fruit to drop. Okay? My God, but I think uh, Juan is right. But then you must be logical sometimes. Uh, Juan, uh, don't be under that uh, uh, fruit tree because the fruit tree is the, we're almost near the trunk or misery, body of the jackfruit. And sometimes jackfruit, you know that the fruit is under the soil. You can just smell it and ready. Okay, so one tamad is there under the jackfruit waiting for jackfruit to drop. Man, he will be fucking dead. <laughs> Something will happen to him. So sometimes also use your head. I mean, you, 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 you have to, you know, Sintido ko ba? Common sense na lang muna ba? Okay? I think uh, I have uh, something here that I have shared. Okay, now let's continue. Uh, that is uh, Christianity 101, okay? And then this Christianity 101 that I'm talking about, is sometimes you have to what? And sometimes by educating yourself, okay? And to understand Christianity. Sometimes your knowledge and understanding is not enough. Wisdom. Okay, coming from God, you have to double check everything, okay? Now? Because right now, everything is here. All the information you want will be provided to you, and that's also biblical. You can see it in there in the Bible. It's already, there's already a prophecy, it's prophetic. Okay, now, that's the reason I'm saying that I'm re-educating myself by emptying your vessel of any preconceived doctrine, information, and etc. Start all over again. Even though I have this kind of foundation, but sometimes I restart all over again. You see, it's like a, you have a gift, okay? You, you have this kind of thing that you can play the piano, okay? But once you can have the proper training again from the expert, man, you become a virtuoso. Man, perfect, okay? Doing it over, over, and over, and again, perfect. See, it's becoming better and better, right? So now, so we have here, so that's also my claim. I am not a, I am ignorant. See, if I want to learn to know something, I will educate myself again. Aside from the knowledge that I have already in understanding, what I want, what I, I want to know now is the wisdom coming from God. So now, 
How are you going to do it? Okay now. Wisdom. Re-educating oneself by emptying your vessel in any preconceived doctrine, information, etc. Let the Holy Spirit be your comforter and counselor. Guide you and to have wisdom coming from God. The Holy Bible is the Word of God. Read it by yourself again and again. Chapter, verses were put there because all are important. Man, even the comma, even the dots and everything. Okay, now, because that paper, okay, and somebody wrote on that, there is something there that is important. Man, it's like the author, like me. Anything that I write or wrote in anything, that's the reason my journals, personal, that is handwritten, is important to me. Because that is what? I mean, those things are not even in the book sometimes. And uh, you have to, like, to read a lot of I mean, books before you can write that. You see? And this paper is what? I mean, you see that? Boeing. Because the paper, for me, it's not important. Anything I, I can write, as long as I can write, do something, the important one is the one that is written. Okay? So now, no, I'm not angry. <laughs> Tagakabanat na ako, taga-ega. Taka, sometimes, kako nga sa inyo eh. Pag ako'y nagsalita, minsan lalakas ang boses. Just to emphasize. Alright? Okay now. Every word, every sentence, book, chapter, verses, were not put there because all are important. The Holy Bible is the most copied and translated book. And the most accurate, it is 2020. Okay? In telling the truth. That is scientifically improved already. Okay, now, that's the most important thing. This is about your soul. You have only one soul, man. This is about you and your relationship with God. You cannot fool God. I'm telling already everybody. <laughs> Even Jesus said, Man, your faith, how sincere is your faith? Sincerity is important. Okay? Now, you must be careful because uh, I'm not telling you, but I'm trying to give you something here. Okay, now, because, uh, anyway, this is about you and your soul. Okay, now, anybody holding a Bible or on the church pulpit claiming to be the conduit of God, or offering a better way how to be with God, the Father in heaven, guaranteed, uh, guaranteed, yes, because there are some hills claiming they are. If you are pangalawang Christo, come on, man. And he was able what? Six million members of him believe on that. My God. Anyway, I, 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 I don't want, that's the reason I hate this. Yes, people are saying, but the reverend, you know what, when you, you, when you show something, then what can contest it, and, and they start believing anyway. But, but it's, it's only few that have the time already to see my journal. Anyway, let's, let's read this, what I have written. And that's what I lost. There's a lot of things that I lost that these people don't know, especially my journal in aquaculture, like this one, important. Okay. Try to subtract or add to the gospel, the good news is blasphemy. Jesus, the only Son of God, did it alone. Well, you see, I have even here my signature. What is the date? December 24, 2016, April E.M. Tejeman. That all my, what I'm writing, I put my signature and date, the timeline. That's the way I am, as a researcher, man. Okay, now. He is the only way, salvation of your soul, faith in Jesus, his blood, the living sacrifice, the perfect lamb, God is love, God don't lie, amen and amen. God loves us so much, that's the reason. Uh, but God is also don't lie, all right? That God cannot even do anything. As, the most important thing is God don't lie. 
that Jesus even said he was, that he is the way. So he's the only way. God don't lie, okay? That God, that Jesus is the only way, the truth, and to have eternal life. All right? I hope I have uh, shared something over here. Okay, now this video, I own it because I created it. I'm using now and now sharing something here that I know I'll be using now the Facebook, the internet, the social media to show to these people that what I lost, especially the 800 videos of our Bible study that I lost, man, those are priceless. All right? Man, the law, especially in internet, are already changing their changing. Man, those, those, those videos that I told them already. I'm not selling anything here. I am sharing the word of God the right way. See? I'm not saying I'm perfect. What I have wrote, written here, nobody can contest it. I have researched it. This was written already. All right? I'm just here like a vessel. I innovate. All right? Thank you. Uh, I'm becoming... As what I mentioned before, not even in my wildest dream that I will become a homeless person in the land of opportunities, the United States of America. My homelessness, after seven years serving the church dying within, those MPD, MPD pastors dump us like a used rags. My reputation was destroyed, my dignity was stolen, including my intellectual properties. They see to it that I am totally destroyed emotionally, mentally, and will be called mentally drains, financially and psychologically, and even physically. Now, it's now manifested. Once outside some Bali Paul Square church compound, man, even my important journals and my videos, I lost all of them. Being homeless person who will believe to your extraordinary claims, However, what God plans for me only now that I fully understand. Many are called, but few are chosen. Once God will use you to deliver a message, you will be purified like an iron subjected to extreme heat and pounded over and over again and again to become a stainless steel that's even raspberry. God sometimes will break a man and then restored with great wisdom. My homelessness experience is the best situation I will cherish. Why? The true human being you will encounter are the homeless. My earthly possession all are all in my car, like the homeless. They will all carry their earthly possession in a grocery cart. Nothing to show except who they are. I am accepted by these beautiful people. And they teach me how to survive with almost no money for the past three years. Every time the LAPD will see the homeless people, I will be with them sharing the Word of God. We're having a Bible I, I, study I initiated. I told myself, I will wait in calm expectation. My patience, endurance, and perseverance and strong faith will validate my extraordinary claim and will be justified in the name of Jesus. Amen to that.